Hello everyone, welcome back to Widget Wisdom. In today's video, we are diving into some essential UI components that are crucial for improving user experience in mobile application. Today we will cover dialogues, alerts, and bottom sheets. These are key tools for interacting with user, providing important information and getting quick response from them. By the end of this video, you will be equipped to implement these features in your apps like a pro. We will cover how to create dialogues, using alerts efficiently, and creating bottom sheets to show extra information or actions. So without a further ado, let's get started. So what is a dialog? So the dialogs are the pop-up windows that temporarily interrupt the current workflow to show information or ask the user for input. They are common in apps for showing important messages or confirming requests. Flutter offers several types of dialog such as alert dialog, simple dialog, or custom dialogs. Let's start by creating a simple alert dialog. It's used to show important information and can have multiple actions like OK or Cancel. So let's see how we can create that. So for that, come to the My Home page and then inside the body property, here add a center widget, then add an elevated button. And for its child, add a text button which will say Open Dialog. Now come inside the onPress method and from here call a method Open Alert Dialog. Now let's create this method. So here I have created this open alert dialog method. Now inside this method, here first add show dialog. So this method opens the dialog. Then here we need to add the context so that Flutter knows to show this dialog at which screen. Then add the builder property. And as you all know, builder needs context. So add that. Then from here return alert dialog. So this alert dialog widget provides a structure with the title, content and action. So for title, here add a text widget, which will say alert. And here you can add any kind of widget, like you can add row widget, column widget, any widget which you want. Here for this tutorial purpose, I'm just simply adding a text widget. Then add the content property. And for content, add the text widget, which will say this is a simple alert dialog. And like title, you can add any widget inside the content. Okay. Then here add the actions property and for action, uh let's add an array and then here define a text button then for its child here add a text widget with ok text and for its on pressed method so when user will press on to this ok button then we will remove the dialog so here just simply add navigator of context then pop so this will remove the dialog from the current state so let's me explain you this code so here show dialog method opens the dialog and the alert dialog widget provides a structure with the title, content and actions. And the actions are typically buttons like OK or Cancel. When you tap on these buttons, you dismiss the dialog. Okay. Now let's see this in action. So for that, save the code and run the application. And here you can see in center, we are seeing a button. So let's press on this button. And when I press on to this button, then you can see we are seeing an alert dialog. So this is how you can implement alert dialog in Flutter. Another dialog type is simple dialog, which is best for showing a list of options like a picker or account chooser. So for that, uh, let's remove this alert dialog from here and here add the simple dialog. And then for its title, here add a text widget, which will say select an option. Then in show dialog, instead of content, we need to add children here. So add children and children have a array. So here add an array. Then inside it, here add a simple dialog option and for its child, here add a text as option 1. So the dialog shows multiple options each wrapped in a simple dialog option. Okay. Then for its on placed method, just simply add the navigator, then dot pop context to remove the dialog. Then just copy this simple dialog option and add it one more time. And here just replace the option 1 with option 2. Now, if you save the code and run the application, then you can see uh, when I tap onto this button, my dialog is changed to simple dialog from a alert dialog. And if I'm pressing onto any of the item, then the dialog will disappear. Now, if you need more control, you can create custom dialogs by combining multiple widget inside the dialog window. For example, you could add an image, a slider and a button in a single dialog. So let's see how you can do that. So from here, remove the show dialog thing and here add a dialog widget then for its child add a container widget then here add a padding of 20 from all the side 
then let's also add the height for this container so here i'm adding height of 200 then for its child add the column widget then for children add the text widget which will say custom dialog and then here add an elevated button and then for its child add a text widget which will say close and then for on pressed just remove this dialog and here you can also add an image icon or anything as your requirement so let's also add an icon so that you will have a better understanding so here i'm just adding an icon then add a plus icon here so i have added that so now if you save the code and run the application and now if i tap onto this button then you can see here i'm seeing the text widget icon widget and elevated button widget so this is how you can create the custom dialogues in flutter so custom dialogues are built using dialog and can contain any widget structure allowing you for flexibility in design and function now let's see alerts in flutter so alerts are essential to notify user about events or action they need to acknowledge such as error messages or success confirmations in flutter alerts are typically built using alert dialog or snack bar so let's create a custom alert dialog so we already touched on basic alert dialog now let's create a custom alert with more interactive elements like images or icons so for that from here remove this dialog and from here return alert dialog now for title add a text widget which will say important then for content add a column widget now sets its main axis size to min because if you don't set it to minimum then it will take the whole available height of the screen so here we need to set its main axis size to min then for children add a icon and for icon set a warning icon and set its color to red and give its size to 50 then here add a sized box as a height of 10 then add a text widget which will say this is a custom alert dialog with an icon now let's also set the actions for this alert dialog so for that here add a text button which will say text as dismiss and on the on pressed method we will just remove this from the stack now so here basically we are added a icon to the dialog using a red warning icon to visually alert the user and the dialog is still dismissed by the using navigator.pop method now if you save the code and run the application and now if i tap onto this button then you can see now our alert dialog is looking a bit nicer now for sending alerts you can also use the snack bars for quick alerts so if you want to show a quick non-intrusive alert at the bottom of the screen use snack bar this is a useful for simple notification like item added to cart or form submitted so for that uh, come above here inside the build method and here create a snack bar and then add the snack bar widget and for content add a text widget which will say item added to cart now for actions here add the snack bar action and for label here add the undo then for on pressed let it be empty now uh, come inside the elevated buttons on pressed method and from here comment this dialog and here add scaffold messenger of context then add the show snack bar and then the add that snack bar which we have created now a snack bar is a lightweight and dismissal itself after a few seconds you can add an action to allow user to take a quick action like undoing the last step now if you save the code and run the application and if you tap onto this button then you can see if we are seeing an alert at the bottom of the screen which is nice for quick actions now let's see how we can build bottom sheets in flutter so bottom sheet slides up from the bottom of the screen and are used for actions or displaying additional content flutter provides two types of bottom sheets model bottom sheets and persistent bottom sheets now let's see how we can create a model bottom sheet so a model bottom sheets block user interaction with the rest of the screen until it's dismissed so let's see this by a simple example so for this come below here and here create a new method adds show model bottom sheet and this needs a context so pass that now come inside this function and here add the show model bottom sheet so this method will call the bottom sheet from the bottom of the screen then like alert dialog here we need to pass the context and the builder so pass that now from here return a container which will have a height of 200 then for its child add a column widget then for its children add the list style and then for leading here add the photo icon 
then for title add the text widget with photo text then for on tap let's say close this dialog now just copy this about list style and add it one more time now change the icon to music note and for title add a text widget with music and for on tap also dismiss the dialog now a model bottom sheet displays a content like a list of items and it's dismissed by tapping outside of this sheet or using navigator.pop. This is perfect for displaying actions or media selection. Now if you save the code and run the application, but before that call this method from the on pressed method of the elevated button. Now if you save the code and run the application, then you can see if I'm tapping onto this button, then the bottom sheet is appearing and if I tap onto any of the item then the bottom sheet is dismissed. So now let's see how a persistent bottom sheet works. So a persistent bottom sheet stays on the screen even as the user interacts with other part of the app. So let's see this by a simple example. So for that create a new method as show persistent bottom sheet and its need a context. So add that then here add the scaffold of context then show bottom sheet then inside it add the context then from here return a container which have a height of 150 and it will have a color of blue gray then for child add a center widget which will say persistent bottom sheet now persistent bottom sheets are usually used for persistent actions like toolbar or quick access features that remain on the screen users can interact with the app while the bottom sheet is still available so demonstrate this come over here and uh, here wrap this elevated button on inside a column widget then copy this elevated button and add it one more time above here and then for on pressed let it be empty now if you save the code and run the application then you can see if i press on to this bottom sheet option then the bottom sheet is appearing on the screen and here i can also tap on this above button and it's interactable but the bottom sheet is not going anywhere. So this is a good widget for toolbar or quick access features that need to be remain on the screen. Now let's see the use cases where you can add those widget. So you can create a contact form inside a model bottom sheet to collect user information or you can use this for displaying a confirmation dialog after form submission. So in this video we have covered the three key components of dialogs, alerts and bottom sheets in Flutter. These UI elements help improve user interaction and make your app more dynamic and responsive. In upcoming videos, we will cover more advanced Flutter features, so stay tuned. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to Widget Wisdom for more Flutter tutorials and don't forget to share this video with your fellow developers.